वेलकम एवरी वन सो वी विल कंटिन्यू आवर कोर्स दैट वी आर डूइंग ऑन रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी टूडे वी विल डू द फिफ्थ पार्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट चैप्टर सो दिस इज यू कैन यू कैन कॉल इट काइंड ऑफ अ समरी कोर्स दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन द बुक ऑफ रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी रिटेन बाय सी आर कोठारी एंड गॉड ऑफ गर्ल सो टूडे द टॉपिक दैट वील डू इज रिसर्च एंड साइंटिफिक मेथड if you want to download the pdf of this lecture you can go on to the telegram channel impacting a class and from there you can download the pdf for this following lecture and uh, if you want to see the rest of the videos of uh, this lectures you can go to the description over there i have given the link to the playlist and you can see the rest of the videos of this series so let's do research and scientific method so research and scientific method over here it explains that research is a very scientific method and for supporting that statement it has given some points first is empirical evidence where is the pen yes so first one is empirical evidence empirical evidence means by the word empirical we means it means experimental that we can use that we can see like water dissolves water evaporates at 100 degrees celsius of temperature when 100 degree of celsius is applied on water it will evaporate the density of water is greatest at 4 degrees celsius all of these are called empirical evidence means we know this knowledge by experiment through experiment and in and uh, the knowledge remains same all throughout the world second one is on relevant concept so when we do a research we develop on a particular concept like for example over here we have seen the example that we are talking about how much temperature is applied on the water so that the water will evaporate so it is 100 degree celsius so what is the relevant concept that we are using over here the relevant concept we are using over here is evaporation so every research that we start will be based on the relevant concept like evaporation gravity all these are relevant concept because they have been studied through by many researchers and they have been proven to be true so these are called relevant concept then objective consideration when we study about objective now two things appear one is objective objective and another one is subjective what is objective the objective is when we talk based on fact and what is subjective subjective is on opinion for example i think you all have seen the test match between india and new zealand second test match that has happened between india and new zealand in that what has happened india has lost to new zealand so in that what can be the subjective opinion some will say because of the batsman we have lost the match others will say it was because of the bowler we have lost the match some can say because of the pitch we have lost the match so what are these these are all subjective opinion subjective points because they are only opinions they are not based on some fact and what is the objective opinion that india lost home test series home test series after 
maybe 12 years. So what is this? This is objective because it has really happened and in 12 years this is the first time that India has lost a test series that too which was played at home. So you have understood the difference between objective and subjective. Objective is based on fact and subjective is based on opinion. Then comes probabilistic. So by this word you can understand that this talks about probable predictions. If we talk about probable predictions, we can say that we have seen that two test matches India have lost. So by probable predictions we can say that third test match also India will lose. So this is only a probable prediction. It can very well happen that India can win or New Zealand can win or the match will end up in a draw or the match will not even be started due to weather condition. But this is only a probability. You can see the word prediction over here. So prediction is never objective. It is always a subjective. It is the opinion based on the previous facts that we have. What are the previous facts? That India has lost both the test matches to New Zealand. So it has a probable prediction that the third test match also India will lose that. Now comes critical scrutiny. What is this? In this we can see that when a research paper is being published, it is reviewed by many people. Everyone in this world can see your paper. It will be reviewed. All the theories that you give will be tested. Like over here we have seen the temperature that is needed for water to boil is 100 degrees Celsius. So suppose you are some researcher in India who is doing this particular research. You are some researcher in India who is doing this particular research. So suppose some researcher has seen your research and he wants to do the same thing but in South Africa. So when he does the same thing in South Africa, he has to get the same result that at 100 degrees Celsius the, temp the water boils. So that is critical scrutiny. That is a thing is critically seen by all over researchers all over the world. So that is it. Today's lecture was very short. Thank you so much for watching and you all have a nice day. Thank you so much.